Howdy folks. This morning's soap is going to be from Wet to Face, Salty Sea Air. And go ahead and show you what the uh, soap looks like on the inside. It's a very soft soap. Very soft. I'll have a scent description and whatnot down below. And when I was looking at the front of this and uh, see the captain there, decided maybe this is what he would probably follow the uh, shave up with. This one here is the new uh, Club Man Reserve uh, Gent Gin. Like I say, I'll have the scent description down below. And I'm um, going to follow up with some uh, Dayer's Witch Hazel. Got my uh, trusty Allen block with the uh, rubber band, and it is getting quite a bit smaller. I uh, used a uh, horsehair brush to whip this up in my bowl here. Smooth bottom. This is a, this is a pretty nice lather. Nice and creamy. And the shaver of the day. I believe how to pronounce this is a sanguine. And see if I can get some of that off of there. It's pretty shiny. It takes a, an injector blade and you can kind of see it or you, it looks like it runs from about here to here. And um, put it in with this sliding mechanism here. Feels good in the hands. I'll get into the plate just a little bit here. Oh, we went ahead and put a hot towel to the face and I uh, bloomed the soap here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and wet the face here. The um, reference to the blades, um, in general, the uh, DE blades, single edge blades, and then these ejector blades, all different thicknesses. And then uh, <laughs> to throw a kink into things, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Feather Artist Club blades, and those will vary in thicknesses as well as in width. So when we talk about blades, it can get kind of involved. The uh, so some of this uh, information here I'm about ready to throw out is uh, I guess you might say in general. Um, DE blades will be the uh, .004. Single edge, in other words, your gem blades, uh, 0 .009. Then the injector blade is 0 .010. Just to give you some kind of idea where this fits in the grand scheme of thickness. And when it comes to Feather Artist Clubs, they vary. It could be point, what, two five four. I think I've seen a point three one. Uh, it, it does vary depending on whether it's a super or professional one with the, the pro guard. It just depends. And as well as width with a uh, Feather Artist Club. So that if you're putting it in a uh, single edge shaver, uh, a Feather Artist Club, that width will also dictate you know what kind of aggressive uh, shave you might be getting. This is pretty creamy. Getting shaving cream everywhere. Bring all that up is because uh, with uh, this uh, shave it taking an injector blade, the shave feel will be different than if uh, you're accustomed to using a DE blade snapped in half. The uh, I guess you might call it a quirk about this particular uh, shaver is from right about here all the way back. There is not a blade back there. And sometimes this portion will have a tendency to remove the uh, uh, shaving cream before you get a chance to uh, actually uh, use it, use the blade on it. So uh, that is something you'll have to learn how to get it around. I know for me. First time I used it, it was uh, quite concerning. <laughs> um, 
guess you might say it was a little, uh, I should have thought about it before I bought it, if it was going to bother me that much, but uh, the more I used it, the more I managed to, how can you say, get around the idea of uh, how this is working for me. As you can kind of see right there, that it will remove the shaving cream before you, the blade gets a chance to do it. But also, uh, the more I got to thinking about it, um, depending on what you're used to and what your needs are, um, the shaving cream provides a little bit of a cushion in between the blade. But I haven't had any issues with the uh, not having enough residual uh, slickness to provide enough glide for the uh, blade to go across. And uh, how many shades you might get out of a, an injector blade like this, it's, you know, it's your mileage may vary type thing. My beard, though, as thick as it is, it, um, it's pretty hard on a blade. This shaver, um, it really does feel good in the hand. The uh, scales made out of plastic, a heavy plastic, has a post in the center to help with uh, any kind of flex that might happen when you're using this, as well as, I um, uh, guess you might say it might be work as a stop to keep this from going down any further once necessary, because you don't want that blade poking out the end. Or the bottom. That is one nice thing about a shavette. You don't have to worry about the shaving cream clock enough. You can go quite a ways with that shaving cream building up. to say this is a um, it's really nice feel in your hand it's you just have to use one one day and if you never used a, a straight razor uh, this will give you some kind of idea what one may feel like with the scales like this because it does feel pretty good in the hands. Some of you, if you follow me um, outside of YouTube, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and uh, one of the groups yesterday, Wet the Face, mentioned uh, featuring products today from wet to face and uh, if I'm not mistaken if you go to his website looking for the soap I think he's sold out of course he's got others I think the some of the scent on this was supposed to be uh, seaweed, driftwood. Can't remember all of it. It's a, I guess you might call it a pleasant scent. Not, I had, there's nothing in that scent that's off putting to me.
there is one thing I probably should say about, and I haven't mentioned it in a while. Um, <laughs> Shavet. <laughs> it's very much like a woman <laughs> about demanding all your attention. And about the time it figures out that you are uh, not giving it all, all the attention it needs, uh, it'll bite you. Eventually the uh, muscle memory kick in and the focus won't quite be as, as tense as when you first start out. It does get better. I know when I first started, not only being a nervous wreck from being in front of a video, but <laughs> I started out, started my videos out with... Uh, <laughs> doing a shave it so guess you might say uh, put myself right in the frying pan have to say I learned an awful lot from videos I really did if it wasn't for videos I tell you what I I don't think I I don't know if I'd ever start one Shaving like this. Videos help me out quite a bit. A number of my videos that I watched uh, with the volume off. You now it may sound kind of odd, but I was really focusing on the technique and how that person was uh, using a shave head or straight razor. In other words, I was watching the video more for the um, learning the technique as opposed for a well, different kind of entertainment, if you will. So I watched some of these guys and I was just, it's, a, it's amazing. Yes, they do make it look awfully easy. Awfully easy on, on video. You look at it, oh, that looks really easy until you try it yourself and end up with a few cuts. And <laughs> doing that, I just cut myself dance in the bathroom. And trying with uh, the non dominant hand, I tried. As a matter of fact, I think I probably got that far on my face, and that's all the further I got. I just don't have confidence in that left hand. When it comes to um, stretching, it's up to each individual because your skin will be different from mine. It may be tighter, it might be looser, so how you uh, uh, stretch your skin, it, it'll be up to each individual person not how much you need to stretch. This is a joy to use though. Once you get used to that one part, removing the uh, <laughs> shaving cream, once you get past that, it is uh, it really does feel good in the hand. This um, this uh, shaver is very much like, uh, grab it over here, pretty much the same thing. This one here I think is uh, been, had been marketed from made by Persona and uh, you can see it's the same thing it's just a uh, you can see there's the mechanism right there uh, both of them are very close to I'd have to say they're exactly the same the biggest difference in between the two is uh, you notice through here how the etching is here 
and here. Well, on this one here, the uh, it's a sticker, and uh, one of the stickers already came off on this one, so I prefer the same one. I guess you might say design-wise in that aspect. This is really creamy. This is really nice. So it comes in. You get four ounces in the container. I think it was twelve ninety-five. And I think the going right on the. Uh, the aftershave I think is $15, but there's not a matching uh, aftershave for this soap. And his soap and the uh, aftershave, depending on whether it's seasonal or not. Uh, in other words, uh, if you like what you see, you might want to get it when you see it. Like Autumn, uh, uh, that aftershave was there for a moment, then gone. It didn't last very long at all. <laughs> I think I'm going to have some stinging right about here. I'm not sure what I did right there, but it already feels kind of like I got the angle off on it right down there. It does feel a little, a little raw right there. Out block. Just a little bit. Now, like I said, it uh, looks easy on video until you get in front of the camera with a sharp ob object in your hand and you're trying to talk and shave at the same time. Alright, let's see if I can... Um, it's got soap on it, so there we go. Get it started there. It just slides out. You can kind of see what the mechanism looks like. There's a little spring right there, and the uh, show you from this side. That's what the blade looks like on the inside there. So you can kind of see how the setting is set up, where it's a nice snug fit. So, in other words, if you experience any kind of wiggle outside of when it's like this, it's it's not much at all. Tolerances are pretty uh, pretty close, but once you put it in there and slide it together. I guess you might say it's a done deal. It stays in there nice and firm. Uh, depends on how you want to look at it. I think it's a pretty good design. It would be nice if they could manage to figure out how to, and of course, you know what blade they're going to use to go the full length right there to get something that's very close to a uh, straight razor. That that would be awesome. May have a hard time keeping them in stock. Go ahead and follow up with some uh, witch hazel here. The link that I put for this is on eBay. I'm sure you can find them in various different places. You know how it is with uh, Amazon. There's not a whole lot that's not on Amazon. I know I'm pretty inexpensive. No more what I paid for this one here. In other words, uh, especially if you're already dabbling with uh, um, shake injectors, this is a, uh, and you're looking into shave this is not a bad place to start. At least you'll be uh, familiar with the, uh, this is uh, Club Band Reserve, Gents Gen. You're familiar with how the blade feels, because that, that injector blade, it, it will feel different shaving with it versus a DE blade in a, in a shave head. Just something to think about. Smells. I can smell it. I mean, it, this is a this is a really nice scent. I tried one earlier. I think it's. Boy, this is wow! This this really does. I really like the scent of this one. I'm glad I picked this one.
I've got one more still haven't tried yet. But wow, this it's a very fresh, crisp scent that that's the word I'm looking for, crisp. Yeah, that feels good. Man. They did a really good job on these new scents, I tell you what. Wait for it to die down and see what the scent is, but yeah. Oh, Shave Nation. I noticed it looked like they have it back in stock, so if you're hunting for some, might want to hurry because the um, you know, last time they sold out pretty darn quick. <laughs> Once again, there is lots of lather. I didn't put a whole lot. I just put a, a healthy heaping scoop of uh, with my baby spoon out of there, and uh, this is all that I get. Got plenty for a whole nother three pass shave or two pass in my case with the shave vet I usually just do two passes whipped up really nice oh <clears throat> real quick yesterday I shaved with a uh, brush that's close to the Vialong this one here's a vintage rubber set and you see they're very close to being the same Matter of fact, I think knot size, they are very close. The, the handle is they're practically almost identical. I have had this brush for a moment. And when I first got this brush, the uh, all the hair in the middle, all the bristles were gone. It was just on the outside. And uh, I think the name on here, there was a sticker that said Barbershop. Actually, the sticker didn't say anything. It's just that's... What I found online to find out what it what it said, and this is a vintage brush. And up here on the top here, it says "Made in Taiwan, ROC, Republic of China." And um, I've had it for a good long while, as well as this knot, and decided I'd get brave and get the old knot out and put a new one in. And I've had this one for quite a while. This is a horsehair knot, and I finally got it the old one out. Got the new one in yesterday afternoon. And it's been uh, sitting, waiting for the glue to dry. I think I got it pretty straight. For my first attempt, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I got it in there pretty decent. If it stays in there, then I know I did a great job. I think I'll probably wait till Saturday to use this one here. But this handle is very nice in my hand. May have to get some more that are got handles like this. But anyway, <laughs> had a great shave. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.